Schönen guten Abend. Es ist ja fast schon Wochenende-Stream. Und willkommen. Ich werde mal nicht groß rumhängen hier. Ich werde einfach mal auf Fortsetzen drücken. I don't know, Sonny. What exactly are we doing here? Let's hope we can learn something about Natasha and Eben by sniffing around before we visit that weekend house in Flowerville. Learn something from Phyllis and Roy's? Well, I wasn't exactly thinking about them. Yeah, figures. Ich glaube, ich muss ein paar Dialoge wiederholen, wie? Anscheinend hätte ich letztes Mal irgendwie, naja, keine Ahnung, speichern sollen, keine Ahnung, weiß ich nicht, weiß ich nicht. Wir reden mit Phyllis. Ich werde die Dialoge ein bisschen abkürzen, denn die hatten wir eigentlich letztes Mal schon. Are those two gonna stand out here all night long? I don't know, but I wouldn't put it past them. They're operating by some incomprehensible logic, at least for simple birds like us. I wish we had the smarts to understand. Maybe one day, Marty. Maybe one day. Mm. Okay. How's it going tonight, boys? Uneventful so far, Sonny. But now that you're rolling together again, I suppose we'll have some excitement to look forward to. What do you mean? Are you kidding? Last time you shot up a theater, and if I remember correctly, each other. <laughs> That was a uh, complicated evening. I sure. <laughs> complicated. Mm -hmm. Has he nothing to say? Do you want to hear some juicy gossip, boys? Always. Deputy Malloy got so drunk, he fell asleep on the toilet. <laughs> It took them an hour to find him. Stupid oaf. So that's why Blood Boyle was here. Yeah, I And he's in a pretty sour mood because he had to come in on New Year's Eve. Just our luck. No, no, no. Your luck is that he's too busy to care about you two lovers right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, yeah. Na komm, wir gehen rein. Es war relevant, äh, hier zu sein und nach Informationen zu fragen. Vor allem bei ihr, Monika. Do you remember Monika ever going on holiday? Honestly? I can't recall. Sometimes I can't decide if it's admirable or if I feel sorry for her. Maybe a bit of both. But is it selfish to say I'd be hurt if one day I didn't find her here? Yeah, I feel the same. That's all right then. Hmm. Okay. Wir reden mit dir. So soon? That was fast. Almost a record. Sorry, Mon. We're just here for a little uh, info. When are you not here for that, boys? How about wish me a happy birthday for a change? D what? Is it your birthday today? Of course not. Don't be silly, Marty. You know exactly when it is. We've talked about it a dozen times. Yeah, <laughs> of course I know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, could you help us with this and that? Of course, boys, but be quick about it. I'm in over my head with paperwork and blood boils breathing down my neck. We'll be quick like a hurricane. Be quick about it. You're very lucky, boys. You just missed the boss by three minutes. Right now, he's trying to get Malloy out of the toilet. Still can't hold his liquor, huh? Neither on or off duty. But today, he is sloshed. Well, he's a water buffalo, isn't he? He knows how to swim. Uh, no, Sonny, just a buffalo. The two are totally different things. Das weiß doch jeder. Also, hier, wir befragen. Guess who we met today? 
In person, Mon. King Hector III? Even better. The one who commands the king. Wait a minute. Hobart Wessler? Damn right. Hobart Ibn Wessler in the flesh. Wow. And you're still alive. That's quite an accomplishment. But seriously, have you heard that he wants to get out of the black market business? Allegedly, he's trying to clear his name with some kind of new meat substitute. His name's gonna be rather difficult to clear. It's a heroic and impossible venture. I haven't heard about it, but it's an interesting addition to what I know. Which is? Eben's been acting very strange lately, and he left most of his business dealings to one of his goons, Mickey. Also known as the Butcher, the Mongrel, and the Slayer. Yeah, we once had the pleasure of meeting him. That's all I know, boys. I know it's not very much, but it's something, I guess. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks, Mon. Was mich gerade zwischendurch gefragt hatte, ist übrigens, erstens, ob es zu laut ist, und zweitens, ob ich das Kamerabild schwarz-weiß machen sollte. Aber ich glaube nicht. Das ist ein schöner Farbtext, oder? Listen, Mon, a reliable old friend shoved this into my hand. Could you take a quick glance at it? Hmm, quite an imposing list. What could those numbers mean? It could be a date, even, but no, this is something else. That's what we were thinking, too, and we got nowhere. But you see a lot of documents. So is there anything familiar about this? Unfortunately not, boys. The names are imposing indeed, but based on this, it could be almost anything. The richest of the rich get together on all kinds of excuses. Huh, it must be a secret cult. It could be, of course, but also anything else. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more. Ah, oh, don't mention it, Mon. Thanks for your time. Or... wait a minute. There is something. Oh, stop teasing us, Mon. I'm sure you've noticed that all the names in the list are men, right? Yeah, of course we noticed. Uh, thanks for the observation, Monica. Don't mention it. I'm just a receptionist. Jetzt machen wir die Sachen durch, ne? We saw a pretty good show at the Czar Club tonight. Good for you, I guess. Natasha? Natasha. She performed a new song. She also sang about why she called us there. Or rather, me. And? That's confidential, Dollface. Anyway, I can't help wondering about that woman. Her past is a mystery, and I couldn't draw much out of her in person, either. Women like her always have something to hide, Sonny. I think that's exactly what makes men fall head over heels for them. I know another broad who's all mysterious. Oh, yeah? What's her name? I'll look her up if we have a file on her. Marty, shut up. Oh, you mean me, right? All mysterious, full of secrets, and grace. I didn't even hear that, Marty. Hallo, Nordisch. Guten Abend. Tag auch, genau. Ehrlich gesagt bin ich ganz froh, dass wir das Spiel hier weiterspielen, weil es gefällt mir wirklich sehr gut. Irgendwie fange ich immer an, mich zu entspannen, wenn ich dieses Spiel hier, ähm, wenn ich das Spiel hier auspacke. Ich will manchmal einfach nur rumhängen und mir die Szene angucken. Hi, Medias, ne? Jawohl, ist sehr geil gemacht, finde ich auch. Do we have a file on a woman called Olivia Blackwig? She's currently working as Ibn Wessler's assistant. Hmm, we don't have a file on her, but there are a few Blackwigs that could be related to her. Mountain Goat, Crow, or Cayman? Crow, around 30 to 35. A very pretty socialite. Maybe we have a catch, then. Theodore Blackwig was a rather influential banker until he went bankrupt. He died a few years back, but his daughter could have ended up in the same social circles as Evan. And since they lost their money, she took a job as his assistant. Yeah, it would fit the picture. But it's a big city, Sonny. There are maybe more than one Crow family with a Blackwig name living here. Hmm. Thanks, Mon. I'm glad I could help, boys, as always. If it doesn't take a lot of my time, that is. 
We know, we know. We're not even here anymore. Jawohl, Medias, nochmal hi. Jetzt, jetzt aber richtig, ne? Good old Bosco's slowly becoming the same piece of furniture we are. Sure. You remember when he was just a little green lap dog? For a while, we even had to babysit him. He always was a talented little pooch, I have to admit. But the filth that seeped into everything in Clawville has reached him, too. It reaches everyone one way or another, right? One way or another, it does, Marty. Just and then doch eigentlich the medium spielen. Hatte ich überlegt. Ich habe bis jetzt allerdings nur ein paar Screenshots gesehen. Ist Lautstärke eigentlich okay oder muss ich es leiser machen? Also ich weiß es noch nicht genau, aber es ist nicht ganz ausgeschlossen. Lautstärke ist nicht, wenn ich dir dann ein bisschen. Okay, dann gucken wir mal. Dann kommen wir hier ins. Hier kommen wir in die Opciones. Audioeinstellungen. Ich kann nur die Gesamteinstellungen. Na gut, ich drehe mal die Gesamteinstellung ein bisschen runter. Andere geht wohl nicht anders. Ist wohl extra, extra auch einfach gemacht. Würde ich denken. Ja. So. Lässt sich nicht großartig anders machen. Also, ja, also eventuell. Weiß ich noch nicht. Wäre ja eigentlich mal wieder gut, äh, wieder ein Spiel zu haben, was dem eigentlichen Samstagnacht-Trend entsprechen würde, oder? Und das wäre sogar mal was zu abwechseln, was relativ aktuell ist. Kannst du ja mal ausprobieren. Joa, na ja, die Chance ist gut. Was ich aber auch tatsächlich die Tage diese Woche noch mindestens einmal spielen werde, ist Star Trek Online. Das hat mir ziemlich gut gefallen, ehrlich gesagt. Da habe ich zwar, das ist zwar ein bisschen kompliziert und ich habe längst noch nicht alles geschnallt, aber es hat mir echt Spaß gemacht. Das werden wir mindestens noch einmal machen. Vielleicht morgen, vielleicht Samstag, vielleicht Sonntag. Vielleicht auch an allen drei Tagen oder irgendwie dazwischen. Hm? War Metro. Ach, Metro! Ganz vergessen. Ich hätte das ganz vergessen, sorry. Kopf irgendwo woanders. Dann natürlich nicht. Dann wird erst Metro weitergespielt. Dann wird erst Metro fertig gespielt. Ne? Ich hatte es vergessen, ja. Also, äh, Metro sehe ich nicht wirklich so als Horrorspiel, sondern eher so als äh, atmosphärisches. Adventure Shooter, irgendwie was, ne? Also, dann machen wir erst Metro weiter. Also Metro wird erst fertig gespielt. Ne? Das, das sage ich jetzt einfach mal so zu. Metro wird erst fertig gespielt, bevor wir Samstag Nacht was Neues anfangen. Und danach gerne auf äh, Medium. Hey, big guy. Hey, Cox. What's up? Back here so soon? Did you get nostalgic all of a sudden, Sonny? I'd rather be anywhere else than here, Bosco. But we're sniffing around on a case. Hoo-hoo. Are you trespassing again? Who? Us? What are you thinking? Ah, oh, just an old case. Still open. Not official, but not active either. We're not bothering anyone. You know, old habits die hard. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. So, how can I help you? Vor allem die Stimme von dem von dem Typen, ne? Von Marty. Ne, ist das Marty? Keine Ahnung. Von dem Hauptcharakter halt. Das Fragen. Ja. You still remember, Philmar? You mean Philip? Of course I remember. 
He's got quite the reputation with that Filmar alias. We just met him. Small world, huh? Do you know what he's up to these days? Yeah, as far as I know, he's investigating petty blackmail cases and sneaking after poor bastards cheating on their wives. Anything else? Did he get mixed up in something that stirred up a storm recently? Yeah, I don't know about that. We haven't seen him at the PD for a while. He's usually a frequent visitor. Why? Did he run into some fishy business again? Possible, Bosco. But I'm not sure he'd want to make the same mistake. Wise decision. Also ich glaube, die relevante Information haben wir eigentlich schon gekriegt von ihr, aber ich, wie gesagt, ich mache jetzt trotzdem mal durch. Kurz, ne? Listen, Bosco, what do you make of this list? Maybe it's the guest list of some fancy ball. These are some rather influential names, the ones I recognize anyway. Movie stars, politicians, a few names from the Council of Twelve even, if I'm not mistaken. You're not. Are you blackmailing them? Because if you are, I'll gladly accept a nice big juicy bone in exchange for my silence. Stop screwing around, Bosco. It has nothing to do with our case. Which is what, exactly? Mm, we're still not gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Listen, Bosco, what have you heard about that singer, Natasha Katsenko? <laughs> you mean that little bimbo fooling around with Ibn Wessler? They say she's the jackpot. But I've never been into cats, you know. You couldn't be more racist if you tried, Bosco. <laughs> don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with cats at all. I'm simply allergic to them. I can't stand being around them. I don't even take cases with cats. Good for you. I should have used that excuse myself. Why? Is your investigation related to her? What? No, of course not. We, we just came from her show. That's why I asked. <laughs> and what's she like? Well, I guess your cat allergy would go away for the rest of your life if you met her. <laughs> really? Uh, maybe I'll have a go and see for myself one day. Na gut. Mehr gibt's hier glaube ich nicht zu tun. Ja, ja wir haben einen neuen Eintrag. Ein Codex, glaube ich, ne? Zwölferrad. Was glaube ich? Council of 12. Genau. Hatten wir letztes Mal schon. Der wiederholt jetzt quasi einen kleinen Teil dessen, was äh, äh, wir letztes Mal schon gemacht haben. Außen juckt mein Nase wie blöd. Ich wollte nur gucken, ob hier noch was liegt, was ich mitnehmen will. Sieht nicht so aus. Nun gut. Wir gehen raus. Und wir gehen mal zum nächsten Hauptort, bei dem wir jetzt noch nicht waren. Jetzt kommen hier die neuen Dinge. Ne? Hoffentlich zumindest. Hauptdoc. Ja, pass auf, wir gehen nochmal kurz hier hin. Ich glaube, der hat wirklich nicht gespeichert. Wir gehen einfach direkt rein. Der hat wirklich nicht gespeichert. Der hat irgendwie, man muss wohl immer die Hauptstellen machen. Zip. Huh? What more do you want? Is it forbidden to stand around at your place? Go stand around somewhere else in the city. Hmm. So, how about you tell me what you're really doing here? Not a chance, Timbo. The truth is, we're already leaving. Sorry, pal. Maybe next time. Hmm. Oh, vielleicht habe ich ja noch ein bisschen Glück gehabt, dass ich nicht alles nochmal machen muss. Wundert mich bloß, dass dieser Ort hier noch benutzbar ist, sage ich mal. Ne? Nichts zum Befragen da, war doch. Ah, nee, alles schon durchgestrichen. Den kann man nicht befragen. Okay, dann haben wir wenigstens die Dialoge hier schon durch. Dinge gibt es hier nicht, ne? Der Gott der Pfannkuchen. Ich habe schon lange keinen Pfannkuchen mehr gegessen. Okay, pass auf. Es geht jetzt zum Wochenendhaus. Los geht's. 
Well, if there's one thing I'd learned during 20 years of detective work, it's that if someone wants to meet you at a remote location at night, you should bring an army for backup. One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again, about to step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. Balls to the wall. Mm hmm Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. I wouldn't say I like it either. Let's take a look around before we go inside. Textbook. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Shut up, Marty. Sieh mal einer an. Farb, Farbkleckse hier. Ich muss da ganz kurz hier in meinen Buch drucken. Das ist der Ort, wo die äh, quasi bedroht wurde, diese Katzenko, ne? Durch diesen Schriftart, diesen Schriftsatz hier. Hm? Schriftsatz vor allem. Chicken Police, hands up. Marty, that's enough. Okay. Und wie es so meine Art ist, gucke ich mir erst die Dinge an, die wahrscheinlich nicht die Hauptsache sind. Wahrscheinlich ist es der Schuh. Naja, okay, komm mal Schuh. Den Farbe. Damn, it's not a good sign. Maybe she just lost it when she hurried into the house. Yeah, right. Do you think it belongs to Natasha? No idea. Do you think I measured her feet when I was in her room? Not sure I want to know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Kann noch was mitmachen? Should we take it? Hell no. I'll buy you one if you want. This is police business. Do you mean the real cops? Do you think? I'm almost certain. My crest is tingling. Damn it. Well, thank God I have a weapon on me. Or two. When do you not have one? Fair point. Hmm. Stop staring at it. You're freaking me out. Okay, okay. I just like shoes. Furry hell, Marty. I don't want to know. <laughs> Stop staring. Okay, okay. Furry hell, Marty. I don't. Okay. In dem Augenblick, wenn es wiederholt, ne? So, this is the word. What can I say? The message is loud and clear. Yeah. What matters is who is it for and what does it mean. I can't misunderstand that if I wanted to. We'll see. Wait a second, did that bimbo put a spell on you? As you used to say, don't let it cloud your objective judgment, boss bird. Watch who you're talking to, boy. Mehr Information? You wrote that down? It burned into my mind. Hmm. Ich kann mir denken, dass ich hier und da schon Dinge übersehen habe. You wrote that down? It burned into my mind. Hmm. Okay, also. Marty, before we enter, did you bring Big Bertha? Of course. She's in the trunk. It's time to get Her Majesty out. That's what I like to hear. Big Bertha. Let's go. Hello, my beauty. Just don't point it at me. Aw, oh, scared? Take it easy. I swore I'm not gonna shoot you again. Very gallant of you, partner. What, are you still pissed at me? I'm happy to remind you why you got shot the first time. I get it. Just shut the fuck up already. Hab ich den Gegenstand? Ich? I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. Looks like I may be needing you now. Ja, ich? Hab die Waffe nicht. 
Okay. It's the nothing. Uh, what was that? Eh, forget it. Just an old quote from a movie. It means it's fucking dark in here. <sighs> Flashlight. I didn't bring one. Uh, me neither. What a pair of fucking professionals. Yep. But you do have a shotgun with you. We should have shotguns for this kind of deal. Is that from an old movie? No, it's an original. Figures. Oh, nine! She was lying on the floor as if she was sleeping. She looked peaceful, almost. The large pool of blood ruined the picture. Poor, delicate Deborah. Maybe you were too pure and innocent for this city. But in the end, its filth pulled you under. You know, no animal can swim in high heels. Hmm. Wild gods! Fuck, even! Yeah, it's her. Deborah. The girl who came to my office. I figured. But what the hell happened? Was it Natasha? Is this what you wanted us to see? No. I mean, I don't think so, Marty. She seemed very attached to the girl, and I believed her. Furthermore, she has no motive to kill her. Natasha meant some object. Something maybe the killer wanted, too. And the poor girl was trying to protect it. Did she seem that kind of girl? She risked a lot simply by coming to see me. She would have done it for her mistress. Why is she naked? Was it sexual? I mean, there's no sign of struggle. She seems untouched. Maybe she knew her assailant. Was it a lover? This looks premeditated. So far, the messages have appeared in weird places, but this... this is a new level. It's no longer just about empty threats. Well, maybe Natasha's on her way here right now. Or she was already here and something happened to her, too. Kidnapped, or worse. Those are possibilities, but we can't wait. We don't have time for guessing. Search the house. Search everything. The room's not trashed. Whoever did this wasn't looking for the same thing we are. Or they knew exactly where to find it. Wait, what are we looking for exactly? I have no idea, but it's something important. Things like that have a way of getting noticed when you come across them. Amen to that. Vielleicht die zweite Teil der, der zweite Teil der Liste. Hinweise. So, Deborah ist tot und auf ihrem Rücken wurde ebenfalls Hure geschrieben. Hm. Die Liste, die Filmer mir zugesteckt hat, einen Namen zu ordnen können. Ja. Ganz vergessen, wo ich die her hatte. <lacht> Natascha bat mich, sie in einem Wochenende zu besuchen. Genau. Wo sie mir etwas zeigen wollte. Hm. Statistik. Rusted. Decent. Ach so. Das waren die, die ähm, Vernehmungs ähm, Dinge. Ne? Vernehmungspunktzahl. Counts of 12. So. Die hat es leider erwischt, ne? Mit einer Botschaft auf dem Rücken. Okay, er weiß mehr als... Ne? Okay. Also, durchsuchen wir mal den Ort hier. Auch in Rot geschrieben hier, ne? Familienfoto, lauter Katzen. This must be Natasha's family. Yeah, wealthy. Do you think she's from the Stavonian Czar's family? Oh, nobody could have survived that massacre. 
but I'm sure this family was also close to the fire. What is she doing here anyway? What, an alias? Keeping secrets, and now this case? Do you think it's all connected somehow? Let's not draw hasty conclusions, Marty. Yeah? Look at those clothes. Could it be a military family? Maybe. Or Stavonian fashion. Your intuition always astounds me, Marty. What would I do without you? And there you go. We can't take it with us, but remember what you've seen. Yes, sir, Boss Bird, sir. What are you trying to tell me, Natasha? Okay, mehr ist da wahrscheinlich nicht. Ein eigenartiges Gemälde. It's an exceptionally beautiful piece. What does it depict, I wonder? I have no idea, Sonny. It's so art, I'm scared to have an opinion. Hm. Total eigenartig. Nice. Yeah, it really is. Nice. Yeah, it really is. Hm. Okay. Merkwürdige Statue. This... what is this exactly? A human. Mythical creature. Quite the cult in Iveria. The whole country's full of these statues. Does it mean anything? They say humans are the keepers of secrets and the messengers of chaos and destruction. You don't think... Let's take a closer look. A human? Damn! Just like in the adventure books. Rich animals are all insane. You have a point. Irgendwas hat sich geschaltet. Nehme ich an. Das ist ja witzig. Ein Mensch. Oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> is this some kind of... Yeah, it's a riddle, Marty. But it doesn't make any sense. Why use something as simple as this when a four-digit number is almost impossible? An idle whim, or the riddle has a meaning. Maybe. Four animals into four places. What does it represent? Think, Marty. Where did we see four animals holding something in their hands? Erstmal hier. Codex. Menschen. Mal sehen, was wir über Menschen schreiben. Humans. Der Mensch ist eine sagenumwobene Kreatur, die in vielen Geschichten und Legenden vorkommt. Üblicherweise tritt er als Kreatur der Weisheit oder als Hüter von Geheimnissen auf, doch er ist auch ein zwiespältiges Wesen, dessen andere Seite Chaos und Zerstörung sät. Die gängigste Interpretation dieser Dualität besteht darin, dass es einen hohen Preis fordern kann, von bestimmten Geheimnissen Kenntnis zu erlangen. Diese Kenntnis, so glaubt man, kann sich als Fluch erweisen. Manche glauben, dass die Menschen die Botschafter von Fatiti, dem Gottes Nichts, sind. Im Bildnis werden sie häufig als geflügelte Engel dargestellt. Hm. Interessant. Das ist auch manchmal so interessant, wenn so, wenn man mal so eine Geschichte kriegt, die einfach mal aus, einer, aus einem anderen Blickwinkel ist, als dem man gewohnt ist. Das fand ich damals so faszinierend, als ich das allererste Mal Kampfstern Galactica gesehen hatte. Die alte alten Filme mit Lorne Green und was weiß ich für Leuten, die ich jetzt nicht mehr kenne. Weil da war es ja auch so, das waren quasi die, das waren die Außerirdischen, mehr oder minder, ne? Die haben sich auf die Suche nach der Erde gemacht. Das war ziemlich abgefahren. Da ist nichts mehr, oder? Nein. Also, wo haben sie schon mal ein... ein Dingens gesehen, ein äh, vier, vier Tiere, wahrscheinlich in irgendeinem in irgendeinem Wappen. Ich kann mich jetzt ehrlich gesagt nicht so genau erinnern. Das 
City of Clawville. Hm. Irgendwo war es in irgendeinem Wappen, glaube ich. Hier. Die Gründung der Stadt folgte dem Zusammenschluss von vier Völkern, was in den vier Tierbildern und den vier Händen auf dem Wappen von Clawbild, Clawville sinnbildlich dargestellt ist. Wappen von Clawville. Okay. Kann ich jetzt doch noch hier was machen? Nice. Yeah, it really is. Anscheinend nicht. Na gut. Okay, wir gucken uns mal hier die Leiche an. The message here too. Yes, but this isn't about Deborah and wasn't meant for her. It was meant for Natasha. Obviously. What have we gotten ourselves into, Sonny? I don't know, Marty, but let's get ourselves out of it as soon as possible. In Händen hat sie nichts, oder? Handtasche? I really shouldn't be here, you know? It's New Year's Eve. I should be out partying, not dealing with this shit. Well, it's a little late for that. I told you it was gonna be a rough ride. What you told me was it's gonna take a few hours and it's practically nothing. <laughs> and you believed me. Yeah, I was an idiot. There you go. Noch mehr? Poor girl. How old was she? 20? 25? Yeah, something like that. What are we gonna do about her? Nothing. We can call the police. Anonymously, of course. Handtasche. Anything interesting in there? Yeah, I think there is. Ein Gegenstand. Mehr ist da nicht, ne? Farbe. Hm? SN. Could be the initials of a person, a, a place, a company or a club. Too many possibilities. But we must find out where it's from. Vielleicht können wir die hier mit kombinieren. We stepped into it, didn't we? Gibt's da Personenliste? SN heißt doch bestimmt Skinny Norris. Aha, ein Lehrer. Okay. Menschen gibt's nicht, ne? Es ist ein Safe. Ich wette, es geht um den Safe. Und wir müssen rausfinden, wie wir ihn aufkriegen. Da ist der Haus mit Telefon. We should call the department. Anonymously, of course. Do you still remember the number? I haven't called my own workplace in years. Cretan. Of course I remember. 555-111. Is it? Since when? Since they invented the telephone. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I knew that. I was just testing you. Yeah, right. Mache ich jetzt aber nicht. Ich rufe da erst an, wenn ich hier meine eigenen Untersuchungen abgeschlossen habe. Nicht, dass sie hier eintrudeln und wir müssen abhauen. Noch mal gucken hier. Clawville Police Department. Da ist doch bestimmt irgendwo ein Foto von diesem ähm, Wappen. Vielleicht steht es hier irgendwo. So. Ich nehme einfach an. Was haben wir denn? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Sieben Tiere. Six, 
Das ist, ja, das ist dann ein bisschen viel, das äh, auszuprobieren. Wenn es vier wären, dann könnte man es vielleicht noch machen. Ausgang. Dock. Polizeirevier. Wir brauchen mal ein Wappen. Ein Wappen von Chlorwell. Huh? What more do you want? Is it forbidden to stand? Go stand around somewhere else in the city. So, how about you tell me what? Not a chip. Sorry, pal. Hi, Kante. Guten Abend. Wir brauchen irgendwo einen Ort, wo dieses Wappen zu sehen ist. While you distract Zip, I'm gonna sneak in and steal his secret magic coffee recipe. Marty, you watch too many espionage movies. What? There's no such thing as too many. Especially if it's starring Cassidy Lupus. Marty. Yeah? I don't care. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. We don't serve books. Das Polizeirevier. Da könnte... Da könnte. Oben ist der Löwe, würde ich denken. Why aren't we on this poster next to Blood Boil? Because he hates us, Marty. Oh yeah, right. Vermutlich. Honor, strength and unity. Pigs, ruffians and vigilantes. Was kann ich da nicht sehen? Honor, strength and unity. Warte, Polizeistation. Sie hat doch bestimmt. Listen, doll, we have some questions. Make it quick, boys. I'm busy. Join the force. Protect the crown. Serve the people. Get bribed. Get beaten by a hooker. Get fat. Schön. Ich habe zwei Stunden Medium gespielt. Ähm, wurde schon vorgeschlagen, ob ich das äh, samstags spielen soll. Und? Spitze? Das klingt gut. Das klingt gut. Dann werde ich das mal probieren, wenn Metro durch ist. Nice words. Nice promises. Nice bullshit. Stadtwappen, da. Did you ever notice how much bigger the lion and the fox are than the other animals? You know, maybe all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Huh. So that's why our king's a fox and not a sheep or a bird, right? It's maybe a little late, but you're starting to get it, detective. Dann werde ich es nach dem Ding spielen. Hallo T, guten Abend. Ich werde Metro nicht ausfallen lassen.
ich habe viel zu viele Spiele, die ich, die ich, äh, die ich äh, hinschmeiße und die zu Ende spiele. So. Guckt hier, Stadtwappen. Unten links Löwe. Löwe, Fuchs, Storch und da oben irgendwas. Pferd oder Büffel oder sowas. Löwe, Fuchs, Storch, Büffel. Okay. Löwe. Fuchs. Storch. Büffel oder sowas. Ah. Hello there. What could this be? Maybe a piece of a painting. And there's some kind of squiggle on it. The signature of the painter? Yeah, I can't make it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what Natasha wanted to show us. Ein Stück von einem Bild. So a piece of a painting? That's it? And what's that smear on it? It's too illegible to be a signature. It could be anything. Well, maybe Natasha can help us. After all, this is what she wanted to show us, isn't it? Well, that's if we find her. She should be here by now. True. Well, then what's next? How about we peck around town some more? We could do that, but... I think we should gather what we know and try to figure out where we can go from here. A uh, bourbon in my office. Ah, uh, you know what? After all this, I could use a drink. Right answer. Dillilin. Office, huh? Können wir da das damit nichts anfangen, ne? Nice. Yeah. It really is. Also das Medium war auf jeden Fall schon auf meiner muss ich mal angucken Liste. So, wir rufen die Polizei an. PD, how can I help you? Uh, I found a corpse. A woman. She's dead. Cold. The address is Rochester Street 37, Flowerville. Sir, please, would you repeat that? Rochester Street 37. Write it down and hurry up for the sake of the wild ones. Hurry! Hurry! Like a pro. Yep, like I've done it before. Mm. Oh, yeah! I almost forgot. How can you forget a case like that? How many times have you seen a three-headed monkey in your life? I have a memory of a chicken, you know. That's for sure. Now let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Was gibt's denn hier für Orte? Das Polizeirevier. Mullens Zeitungskiosk. Da gehen wir zuerst hin. Weil es ein neuer Ort ist. Der Saarclub. Und das Polizeirevier. Erstmal hier, das ist neu. Should we say hi to the old beaver? Sure. Mullen is an old, old friend, so he certainly deserves a hello. And we do need information. Few people know as much about Clawville as the old woodchomper. An encyclopedia in the flesh. Yeah, he always has something. Okay. Hmm. Here. Hercules Mullen. Biber. Okay. Er ist alt und voller Geheimnisse, wie die Stadt selbst. Schön gesagt. Mullen oder Mallen ist ein alter Bekannter aus der Zeit vor der Chicken Police. 
Also von vor sehr langer Zeit. Ich habe ihn immer Onkel Mallen genannt, als noch, auch noch als junger Polizist, obwohl er nur wenige Jahre älter ist als ich. Er ist zu so vieles, was ich einmal werden wollte. Ehrlich, weise und immer gut gelaunt. Malen weiß fast alles über jeden, den man kennen sollte. Das sollten wir uns ausnutzen. Das auf jeden Fall spielen. Ich werde es auch probieren. Ja. Ah. Dead Silent Night. Schön, schön, schön. Soll mir auch recht sein, dass meine Stimme das erstmal nicht spielen. Okay. Ja, wie gesagt, erst Metro. Weil Metro gefällt mir auch sehr gut und ich will. Und ich will Spiele fertig kriegen. Murdoch and Falcon is a famous law firm in Clawville, run by a blind bat and a bird brain falcon. Mm -hmm. The taxi company for the upper class only, politicians and gangsters. Gangsters. I had a chance to travel in one of these once. I was being taken to my own execution, but that's another story. They had some big time cases that helped make their name. I hope I'll have the opportunity to work with them in the future. Hmm. Der Wagen? Mullen's car. Ancient, but kind of beautiful. Like the old Beaver himself. Seems like the kiosk is still a good business. Some things are indestructible, right? Yeah. Mullen's kiosk's been here since I was a little chick. My old man used to drive here from the other side of town for his daily papers. Yeah, many still do. He certainly is something. Mullen's a wizard from a forgotten age. Yeah, kind of. Okay, sieht schon sehr gut aus in Mitte. Ah, das freut mich, das freut mich. Werden wir gucken. This newspaper booth has been standing here for more than a hundred years. It was always run by the Mullen family, like some strange monument to a forgotten age. Chandler's used to be quite a prestigious cafe. Magnificent animals had breakfast here, and in the evenings, philosophers and writers would get drunk together and argue. The place is now just a second-hand bookshop, just a shadow of its former self, like so many things in this city, like me. Mm. I wonder if they've got the entire Chicken Police series. It, not that I give a cluck, of course. Natürlich nicht. But... But... The Clawville Chronicle. The most read and probably the most biased newspaper in the city. It's supposed to be a royalist rag, but the separatist overtones are getting stronger and stronger every day. The Chronicle either put the chicken police on a pedestal or it was gnawing on our drumsticks. Mostly thanks to our dear friend, Timothy Saltwater. We made it much easier to sell the paper until the public got bored. Nun gut, also. Erstmal angucken. We're getting older and older. And Mullen's not changing a bit. Where's the justice in that? He's just eternal. Like an ancient god or something. Or the personification of the city. What a lovely thought. But if the city took shape, it would most likely be some kind of vermin. Yeah, true. But that wasn't uh, very uh, politically correct, coming from you, pal. Hey, you know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know, Marty. You're too good for this world. Ah, oh, thanks, boss. It wasn't a compliment, Marty. Hey, Hercule. What's up, old friend? Hello, me lads. It's good to see you. What are you doing around here where you never see a cat, go boy? <laughs> We're working, Uncle Mullen, just like you. But I'm afraid we're also walking a little bit outside the law. But it's New Year's Eve. Couldn't it wait a bit? 
Whatever the case is, it can't be that serious. I'm afraid it is. Maybe you can help us with a few things. After all, you know everyone in the city. <laughs> what a compliment. But of course I'll help if I can. I know you ever since you appeared in the city. Young, fresh, full of ambition. And little Marty had been just a chick when he was already coming here every day with his daddy, eh? <laughs> You're like me sons, so you are. Oh, thanks, Uncle Mullen. Neue Funktion für Fragen. Wir fragen alles. Eben's a ruthless gangster, that's for sure. But he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way. And that's not so easy to manage as the whole city's in his hands. How come they never tried to approach you, Uncle? What? <laughs> of course they tried. They wanted to buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mongrel Mick, Ibn's number one pug, came here and threatened me more than once. If I hadn't dug me heels in, the others would have sold up. The lawyers behind me, even Biff, the owner of Chandler's. But I told them, over my call, dead carcass. Well, looks like it worked. <laughs> I'm too much for them, lads. Or I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. We could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, I'm a poor nobody, my lads, but my name still carries meaning. This place has always belonged to my family. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So, he usually listens to reason. Eh, yeah, when I talked to him tonight, he seemed confused dissolute and impetuous to me that's uncharacteristic be assured it was him are you joking ibn wessler's not usually confused with anyone else of course i'm joking beaver humor you know <laughs> nobody gets it not even the beavers <laughs> good one again nun eine information der ist eigentlich pragmatisch hm. Hey, Martin, my lad, what's up? How's that beautiful wife of yours? Laura's perfectly fine, thank you. It's crazy you could grab an amazing woman like her, son. Are you blackmailing her with something? Ah, I missed your famous beaver humor. I'm just messing with you, son. Anyway, you look good. You're in good shape. You look more like a turkey than a rooster, if you ask me. Um, thanks. This is priceless. Thanks, Hercule. We'll be back again soon. Yeah, sure will. <lacht> das klang nicht so begeistert, ne? Ich muss gleich mal die neuen Informationen alle lesen. Wer war das denn? Nice girl. She used to come here for a while, but I, I think she moved downtown. Yeah, she's the poster girl for workaholism. She lives in an apartment across from the PD, but sleeps at the station. If she sleeps at all. Some animals just race and race through the years of their life until someone stops them, makes them wind down. Is there someone like that waiting for everyone? Indeed there is, somewhere. <laughs> Usually not where we're looking for them. Yeah, right. Okay. Monica, the Nachnamen wusste ich nicht so wirklich genau. Okay. Hercules Mullen, also er selbst, hippie. How's Desire? What about her? She's still beautiful, and she's still my wife. And I still don't get why she hasn't left me already. Because she's too much like you, you stubborn old damn builder. You see, you're right about that, sonny boy. And, uh, the cubs? Cubs? <laughs> More like jumbo cubs. John sees a hotshot lawyer in Galadia, and Timmy also left Clawville to try his luck in Grassmore. But who could blame them? Good move. Ah, yeah, but they visit me often, though. They're good kids. I know, pal. They're from a good letter. <laughs> if you say so, Sonny. <laughs> you know anything about a woman named Natasha Katsenko? Sonny boy, what have you gotten yourself into again? That lass is Ibn Wessler's protege, to put it politely. She's the crown jewel of the city. A shining new star. 
If you dare talk to a gal such as her, you can expect some serious lead poisoning, me boy. Well, I suppose I should have come to you first for advice. Doesn't matter now. We're in it, Uncle. Up to our combs. If you'll accept the advice of an old shaggy beaver, get to the end of it as quickly as you can, and try to make it out with all your feathers. Yeah, that's the plan. But do you know anything about her? Anything, uh, interesting? As I've heard, Natasha is quite a mysterious lass. She came from the Stavonian Sardom and fled to Clawville, but from what? No one knows. Some years of her life are shrouded in mystery, and that really means good. You're right about that. So, uh, that's your advice? Be careful. At least, sorry boy. And one more thing. What's that? Never fall in love with a woman like her. Thanks, Hercule. I wasn't planning to. Nobody plans to, Sonny. Just take care of each other, okay? And always carry a good gun in your pocket. Oh, I always have one in every pocket, old-timer. I know, Martin. I know. Okay, we have him durchbefragt. Five new information. Here in this area, here, not so direct. Persönliche Information. Monika. Sie ist so arbeitsversessen, dass sie sogar in den Block auf der anderen Straßenseite im Revier gezogen ist. Hm. Auch wenn sie jetzt ganz in der Nähe wohnt, schläft sie häufig auf dem Revier. Hm. Ja, Katzenko. Wir wissen, von woher Natascha nach Chlorwell kam, aber einige Jahre ihres Lebens sind für uns ein absolutes Rätsel. Selbst der sonst allwissende Mallen konnte uns nicht mehr über sie verraten. Und der Anblick von Deborah hat Marty einen ziemlichen Schock versetzt. Das kann ich verstehen. Ich wusste, dass dies kein Routinefall werden würde, aber so eine Situation wollte ich den alten Flederwisch bestimmt nicht hineinziehen. Ja. Humans, wie gesagt, haben wir eigentlich, ne? Okay. Mehr gibt's hier bestimmt nicht, wie es aussieht. So. Wir gehen nochmal zum Club. So, what are we doing here again, Sonny? I don't know. Maybe we could question Natasha. Do you think she's here? Who knows, Marty? We'll see. There's Philmar. Maybe he knows something. Yeah, maybe he's not drunk as a skunk. Stop projecting onto others, old chicken. Ah, shut the clock up, Marty. No, oh, I'm sorry I hurt your precious feelings, boss bird. Der guckt uns schon wieder so merkwürdig an hier. Der ist zum Glück überhaupt nicht unheimlich. Hey, old bird. What are you waiting for out here in the rain? Is that you, boys? I'm a little uh, tired. I can see that, pal. Oh, it's all right. I just can't find my car. I don't see very well in the rain. It's my eyesight. It's pretty bad. I should wear glasses. <laughs> Imagine that. A hawk wearing glasses. Yeah, it's funny. There ain't nothing funny about it, Snowflake. Whoa, all right. Sorry. Have you seen uh, Natasha or Ibn since we left? Ibn? Uh, he got put off a long time ago. Natasha? I haven't seen her. Thanks anyway, pal. Uh, good luck with finding your car. You uh, want some help? Could be... That I didn't come here by car? What do you think, Sonny? Old friend? Well, I wouldn't know that, Phil, but uh, you take care, all right? Ah, uh, you're telling me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm. Funny. 
So, Filmer hat sich anscheinend gründlich begossen. Stimmt's, alter Kuppel? Was für ein Klischee. Okay. Okay. Ich weiß gar nicht, wie viele Orte es wirklich gibt. Aber es gab hier eine Statistik, ne? Die gefundenen Orte 10 von 32. Also wird es wohl 32 geben, würde ich jetzt mal voll Sherlock-mäßig sagen. Ne? Gefundene Codex-Einträge, gefundene persönliche Informationen. Ich bin jetzt nicht so sicher, ob wir wirklich alle Orte sehen werden. Vielleicht hängt es ja auch so ein bisschen an der Geschichte, ob man eventuell bestimmte Orte verpasst. Das ist ja nicht ganz ausgeschlossen, sage ich mal. Ne? If this car is still here and Wessler's already gone, that means it's not his car. It's like your first day as a detective. You didn't consider that he could have multiple cars? Huh, you could be right. Sometimes I think you breathe in too much gun smoke, Marty. Mm. Mm, but I love the smell so much. Moonlight Boulevard. Ah, that movie. It's a real classic, I'm telling you. If you say so, Mr. Film Critic. Laugh all you want, but believe it or not, very few have seen more movies in the city than me. So, you can believe me. I would never try to doubt your word. Okay. If we were really in a movie, at least there'd be a chance of a happy ending. Aber ihr seid nicht in einem Film, ihr seid in einem Spiel. Hey boys, tell me, is Natasha still inside? I can't give you any information about that gentleman. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, the regulations. I know. We've gotten used to it. I am glad to hear that. And your boss, Wessler? Can we find him in the VIP lounge? I'm afraid I can't tell you that either. But we can take a look for ourselves, right? No problem, gentlemen. Thanks, Wooly. Your friend's not the talkative type, is he? <laughs> he understands what we're saying, right? Don't anger me, chicken, or I'll tear out your throat before you could say hemp seed. Ha, huh. just try, Fleabag. Hey, folks, relax. The night's still young. We'll have plenty of time to tear each other's throats out, but right now we're busy. Ha, huh. you're right. Bye, guys. Goodbye, gentlemen. Hmm. Okay. Das kann dir uns was sagen. Hello again, Bojack. Please don't call me that, sir. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name again? Well, if you really must know, I'm Lance, sir. Okay, Lance. Listen, it's very important. Oh, please, sir. Don't get me involved in anything. I just want to get my shift over with and go home to sleep. Relax. There won't be a problem. Just answer the questions honestly. Oh, if I must, let's give it a try. Right, kid. Lance. Ah, Lance. Yeah. So, have you seen Natasha since her performance? No, no, don't ask me anything about Miss Kitsenko and Mr. Wessler. It could cost me my job or even more. Hey, it's a matter of national security. It could be. Yeah, see, it could be. So, if you help, you won't only be helping us, but the Crown and the whole city of Clawville. Oh, okay, all right, just stop that chicken shit, will ya? I saw Natasha, yeah. She came down, spoke with someone, then stormed out the front door. And then what happened? She came right back in, two or three minutes later, soaked to the bone. She was in a hurry. She went up to her suite, then came back down and left. And you haven't seen her since? I genuinely haven't seen her ever since, sir. Thanks, Lance. You've been a great help. I'm happy to hear that. So Natasha had left. Seems so, but she never arrived at the weekend house. Then? Then we'll stay with the original plan. We'll gather our thoughts at the office and go over everything we know. Okay, Bossbird, lead the way. Wir gucken, ob es noch mehr Dinge zu tun gibt hier. 
Der Typ ist ja immer noch da. This guy was here before, right? He's handling it pretty well. And there are even more pretty dames all over him. You think they dig his antlers that much? More like his wallet, Marty. Hmm. Dames. Fuchs Olivia. Mit Olivia reden. Es könnte unter Umständen gehen. Vielleicht lässt sie sich ja ein bisschen was äh, abluxen. You think the guy's taking a shine to Olivia now? Why should I care? And while we're at it, why do you care? Me? <laughs> I, I don't care at all. And why do you ask? What? Stop bugging me. Neue Information. Marty hatte für kurze Zeit einige Dates mit Olivia. Das ist alles. Mehr will ich auch gar nicht wissen. Ach ja, hier gab es übrigens auch noch was. So, nach der Show hat Ivan den Club verdächtig schnell verlassen. Und Natascha sicherlich auch. Westlow's secretary. It's worth a try, Marty, but let me do the talking. She's not very fond of you. We, what can I say? You know, back in the day, I flew from tree to tree. I was a free bird. Maybe I was playing her a bit. Mm okay. So we meet again. How unpleasant. I'm sorry, Olivia. We won't keep you long. Perhaps you could tell us if you've seen Natasha. She hired you and you already lost sight of her? That's unfortunate. We should have met her, but she didn't show up. Should we be worried? Are you asking me that? I haven't seen her since she was on stage. Not like I was paying any attention to her or anything. Thanks, sweetheart. We won't bother you anymore. Thanks, Olivia. Don't mention it. Neue Funktion befragen. Der Club. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Das war eine sehr, sehr informative Antwort. You know, Ibn's not as ferocious as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. Hmm, ich hab einen Verdacht. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit, that's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. Even Wessler, or Wessler, wohl er, nicht Wessler, wie Tesla. Even uh, Wessler scheint sich zu verändern, ja? Das ist hier nicht die Information, die ich meinte. Die Leute haben es sogar versucht. Ne? So, eben verhält sich recht seltsam. Okay. Befasst sich der mit dem Fleischersatzmarkt. Hm. In letzter Zeit hat er sich merkwürdig verhalten, als wenn man versuchen würde, sich aus den illegalen Machenschaften zurückzuziehen. Das wäre kein Problem, aber es geht vollständig gegen seinen Charakter. Ob da womöglich so etwas wie eine Schwangerschaft im Raume steht? So nach dem Motto Eben Wessler wird Vater oder so? Das kennt man ja so aus anderen Geschichten auch manchmal, ne? Das ist so ein bisschen mein Verdacht. Etwas in der Art vielleicht. Irgendwas familiäres. Würde ich vermuten. So, hier. 
viel Platz haben wir noch für Orte, wo wir hinkönnen. Den Zeitungskiosk, den brauchen wir schon. Polizeirevier. Na komm, pass auf. Wir gehen mal kurz hin. Phyllis und Roy sind nowhere to be seen. Praise the great wild ones. Well, let's hope this is a good omen. Maybe finally the pincushions have started to do something with themselves. And maybe it's not a coincidence, since we've just found a dead body, Marty. Yeah. What can I say? The night's starting to get off, huh? Just like the good old days. Well, let's just hope there won't be any more surprises tonight. You don't believe that, do you, boss? Ne, wir können mal reingehen und uns mal umgucken. Oh, hallo. Der Boss. Officer Barkman, one of Bloodboil's little protégés. Barkman, passend. I see the boss is ready to explode today. What did you expect? The madness kicked in and he's got to be at the PD. Deputy Malloy's blind drunk. Uh, what's the name of the old man's wife again? Uh, poor lady. Marsha. She was waiting here for a while too, hoping it'll only take a few minutes. But as soon as they saw the state Malloy was in, she got into a taxi and went home. So that's why the old hound's so angry. Please, boys. Don't make him more so, all right? Unfortunately, I can't promise that, doll. As usual. Hmm. It's in a carter. Look what we found, Mon. Does this mean anything to you? It's beautiful. Embossed, gilded. These are rare. But I've never seen anything like this one before. Where is it from? I'm afraid that's a secret. At least for now. You haven't taken vital evidence from a crime scene, I hope. Oh, what are you thinking? On my feathers. You're gonna be in trouble, boys. Only if we don't wrap it up, Mon. So. Listen, Mon, uh, that girl they found in Flowerville. You've seen her, right? Yes, we were first on the scene. Boys, you know I should report you immediately, don't you? We know, Mon. We're only asking for a little more time. We're hot on the trail. If you learn anything, would you, uh, please tell us? Are you crazy? Hey, keep it down. Blood boils right behind us. Please, Mon. It's a matter of life and death. God damn. Okay, but only because I can see how much it means to you. Thanks, doll. We'll be forever grateful. Yeah, ob das so viel hilft? Good old Filmar hasn't been sniffing around here recently. Yeah, he was here a week and a half ago. He used the archives and took out some public records. That's all? That's all. Oh, and uh, he asked me out for a coffee. I hope you said no. Why are you so interested, Marty? No, I'm not. I just... just... I told him no. Just like I told you no on all 25 occasions. Ah, <sighs> glad to hear that. Okay. SN. Could be the initials of a person, a, a place, a company, or a club. Too many possibilities. But we must find out where it's from. Ich glaube, das war in der Handtasche von Deborah. Wenn ich mich recht erinnere. Stimmt das? Ich glaube, ja. Shouting in three, two, one, and action. Mart, what the hell do you think you're doing? We're just patrolling, sir. At the station? No, we're here for something else, sir. You missed me, huh? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, 
Why are you grinning, Santino? I can't grin, sir. I have a beak. Don't be cute. I can see it in your eyes. Should I close them, sir? Don't you peck at me, chicken, you hear? We're not even here anymore, Chief. We just quickly stopped by for something. Get out of my sight. Yes, sir. Okay. Ich kann mit ihm reden. Machen wir sofort. You're on duty. Am I right, Martin? Yes, sir. And why the hell are you standing here? Don't you have something to do? I do, sir. Then fuck off. And you, Sonny. Don't even think about saying anything. I can already see you're dying to say something funny. I wouldn't think about it, sir. You're on duty. Hmm. Yes, sir. And why the hell? I do, sir. Then fuck. I wouldn't think about it. Okay. Okay. Nur ganz kurz gucken. Nichts Neues hier, ne? Also, nee. Also nicht, dass, dass hier jemand was hingelegt hat oder sowas. How many of these did we wreck in 10 years, Sonny? Nine. And I have no idea. I stopped counting after year two. How much does it cost the city to keep us on the force? Well, stop thinking about it. It'll make your head hurt. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. Also, die Aufgabe ist eigentlich immer noch... ins Hotel Atlas zu gehen. Haupt, Hauptpunkt, also Hauptgeschichten Kapitel. We had no choice but to continue the investigation where it started. In that shady little apartment I called home. The only lead was the list Filmar gave us, with all those imposing names on it. But what could it mean? And why did Natasha keep it secret from us? But most importantly, what did all this have to do with Deborah's death? The trail started to get cold, and so did the air outside. There was something unsettling in the black clouds, hiding all the stars. I prayed that they didn't bring an early snowfall. The night was already painful enough. So, what are we doing here? Trying to calm down. I'll have a shot. Sure you will. And we're trying to put the pieces together, of course. Figure out what's next. And what is next, Boss Bird? Let's say... So, how did this whole case start? I have nothing pressed. I have nothing pressed. My hand is not in the mouth. So, let's see. Interesting. Interesting. How did the case start? With Deborah. Mögliche Verdächtige. Äh, hier fing der Fall an. Mit Deborah. Hm. Gangstergeliebte. Seltsame Drohung. Deborah ist tot. Erschreckte Katze. Seltsame Drohung. Ja, das muss richtig sein. Damit fing der Fall an. Merkwürdig hier. Da ist eine Liste, das kommt ziemlich spät. Ein Brief. Karte. Nataschas Schlüssel. Ich weiß noch gar nicht ganz genau, glaube ich, was der aufmacht. Funktioniert. Verdächtig. Könnte wichtig sein, aber nicht im Moment. Passt noch nicht ganz. Dann wird es wohl. Natürlich. Natascha und die Drohung. Wo ist der Zusammenhang? Ganz klar ihr, würde ich sagen. Das haben sie vorhin zumindest gesagt. Yeah. 
Now the threats are meant for Natasha, no doubt about that. Das haben die vorhin selbst gesagt. Kommt denn jetzt dahin? Ein Gegenstand? Die seltsame Liste, ein Brief. Ich weiß nicht recht. Die Karte ist hier erst zum, ziemlich zum Schluss. Gangstergeliebte. Das gibt es gerade nicht. Die, die, die. There was something Natasha didn't speak about. Sie hat etwas verheimlicht. Sie hat uns etwas verheimlicht oder sie hat uns angelogen. Klingt ja erstmal nicht so, so grundsätzlich verschieden hier. Sie hat es uns gezeigt. Einfach vergessen zu erwähnen, das glaube ich mal nicht. Ich glaube nicht, dass sie vergesslich ist. Natasha is terrified and she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from us. It seems too important to keep it a secret. Louis ist einer, der äh, gesellschaftlich sehr bewandert ist. Der hat uns ja in den Club reingelassen. But what can we do with this list? Da was mit zu tun haben? Also das ist doch nur Raten hier. Etwas damit zu tun haben oder vielleicht weiß er etwas darüber. Die Liste macht ihn verdächtig. Er hat die Liste als Ablenkung genutzt. Woher soll ich das wissen? Das ist jetzt so ein ganz klein bisschen wie damals, als wir diesen, diese Sherlock Holmes Spiele gespielt haben. Ne? Ich weiß gar nicht, ob wir zwei gespielt haben aus dem Kopf. Ich glaube, wir haben nur eins gespielt. Ähm, da gab es doch echt ein paar Stellen, da konnte man irgendwie einen Schluss ziehen und beide Optionen waren gleich wahrscheinlich aus meiner Sicht. Oder ich habe Hinweise übersehen, das kann natürlich selbstverständlich auch sein. Ist ja auch so. Vielleicht weiß er etwas darüber. I know only one person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Lewis. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. So the card is uh, uh, maybe a dead end. The piece of painting too. But the list Filmar gave us. Exactly. Full of those imposing names. And I only know one person who moves in similar circles. Lamar. Yes, Marty. It's Lewis. Exactly. Of course, it's Lewis. But where do we find the bunny man? Well, since he owns this building, I'm hoping he's here. It's worth a call. You know his number? By heart. 555-932. I wrote it down in my notebook as well. Oh, you are a professional, boss bird. Okay. Ich wollte mal gucken, ob sich hier was Neues angesagt hat. Vielleicht hat uns ja jemand hier Beweisstücke. Maybe I'm really gonna write that novel. 
If I make it to retirement alive, of course. Ja, ich wollte sagen, vielleicht hat uns jemand hier äh, Beweismittel untergeschoben. Hm? Nothing interesting in there. But if there is, it'll remain hidden for all eternity. Na gut, 932. Hey, Lewis, uh, sorry to disturb you again. Uh, could you come over to my place? I uh, have a question for you. It's very important. It's about a case. A real case? With the chicken police? <laughs> of course, Sonny. I, I, I'll be over in a few minutes. Thanks, pal. I owe you one. One? <laughs> Just a moment, second. That is something. Nun. Good old rabbit. I can always rely on him. Thanks, Lewis. Again. Oh, don't mention it. Besides, it was my big dream to help you with a serious case. Well, let's hope you can help. What can you tell me about this list, old pal? Hmm. Well, well, these names. I know ha half of them personally. Maybe even more. I knew it. But, but I have no idea what kind of list this is. Here we go. But these are all members of the upper c c class. Politicians, business people. Oh my. <clears throat> even the commander of the r Royal Guard. Damn. But I really don't know what it m means. So, is it a dead end? I'm a, a, afraid so. Neue Funktionen befragen. Na gut. Vielleicht müssen wir noch mal irgendwie Dinge da kombinieren. Ich frage mich ehrlich gesagt, ob ich diese Kombination, diese, diese Beweismittel und Personenkombination, ob die auch hätte anders laufen können. Weil immerhin hat er immer irgendwie was gesagt, wie beschrieben wie das ist nicht ganz richtig oder fast oder da fällt mir was besseres ein oder irgendwie was ne Deborah the girl who came to me tonight yes she's a very lovely young lady where did you take her after you two left where she asked me to to flowerville flowerville rochester street 37 y yes exactly why Luck. <gasps> Did something happen? Nothing good, Lewis. Nothing good. Hmm. This? This? Oh, 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 my goodness. I think we have a bingo, gentlemen. You s s see, I also have one of these. A card? Like this? Really? Y yes. It's a membership card to a very exclusive club. How exclusive? Very. That's what I'm talking about. What does SN mean, Lewis? It's the s s s sweltering Nile. But that's a... Well, yes, it's a brothel. But it's not, not like that. It's s s s something completely different. Calm down, Lewis. We're not going to tell anybody. Thank you s so much. <laughs> It is rather embarrassing. <clears throat> Listen, Lewis. How do we get in? You want to get in? Well, if you could show them this card, they'll surely let you in. But it will be obvious you're not regulars there. We're used to that. So, are we going to a luxury brothel? Correct, Marty. Hmm. Thanks for the help, Lewis. I owe you one. For the third time today, I think. Okay, immerhin kommen wir jetzt weiter. Es gibt noch mehr Informationen hier. I don't know what you s s s said to him, but after you finished, he almost immediately van van disappeared. Really? That's suspicious. Or he had business elsewhere. It's New Year's Eve. Everybody's going somewhere. 
I didn't see... I didn't see her after the show. If I'm not mistaken, she usually leaves when everyone else has already left. What else do you know about her, Lewis? Oh, not much. What everybody knows, she was a dancer, then a backing singer, then st st star, and then club owner. We found out as much already. Do you think she'd fled the Stavonian massacre? That's why the secrecy. Do you mean the massacre of the royal f family? I'd say her accent is a dead g g giveaway, and her name too, though it's undoubtedly an alias. So it's possible that she is a part of the royal family? I d d don't think so. Nobody could have survived that hor 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 awful night. Uh, you're probably right. Hmm. Okay. What should we know about the place, Lewis? Besides what they're uh, dealing in there? No, oh, it's an elegant and exclusive place. Not everybody visits them for, for, for that, you know. Some animals just go for c c company. <clears throat> I see. I guess it's mostly visited by the upper class. M mostly, yes. The wealthy who have a taste. Yes, of course. Is it true what they say? That it's some kind of hidden stronghold of the royalists? The Nile is a proud herald of the coexistence of all the sp species. Yes, but stronghold? I don't think so. But the place must be an eyesore for the separatists, right? Oh, don't, don't, don't worry for the girls, Sonny. They can defend themselves quite well. The separatists wouldn't dare to go near the place. Well, we'll see what they have to say about these two old cocks. Uh, that was a little bit, um, <clears throat> equivocal. Na gut. Also. Wir haben einen neuen Ort aufzusuchen. Hier, da war das schon eben. Ein beinahe legendäres Luxusbordell, das vorwiegend von Besuchern aus der Oberschicht frequentiert wird. Und von Louis, wie sich kürzlich herausgestellt hat. Hm. Okay. Louis. Sweltering Nile. Interessant. Man kann nirgends anders hin. Alles klar. Das hat auch, sagen wir mal, eine gewisse... Also das beruhigt ein bisschen. Denn denkt man, man kann nichts übersehen. Oder wenn man was übersehen hat, hat man jetzt keine Chance mehr, es einzuholen. Oh. 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 To Marty's delight, we were heading toward the most exclusive brothel in Clawville. The separatists and those opposing the monarchy hated the place, just like they hated everything that supported interracial relations and peaceful coexistence of all species. So the place wasn't just a brothel, it was a symbol. But just like a brothel is not a worthy symbol, Clawville failed to turn out the way it was intended. Well, here we are. The kingdom of long legs, silky skin, and fluttering lashes. We've arrived. Calm down, Marty. Watch your blood pressure. Errungenschaft, Umleitung. Mhm. Das sind hier so die äh, Bediensteten, so, ja? Mhm. Mitgliedskarte für das Luxusmodell, ja. Mhm. Hündin, Lemurin, Vogel ist wahrscheinlich Sicherheit. Rezeptionistin, Füchsin. Also wenn man dieses, das Ganze, das hier, dieses Bild irgendwo aufhängen würde, würde vielleicht der ein oder andere versuchen, das als künstlerische Darstellung zu interpretieren. 
Aha. Bilder. Darf ich wohl nicht zu lange draufhalten. Aus Twitch macht mir sonst die Hölle heiß gründen. Hm? These brides are elegant. Just like Laszlo said. Lewis. What do you think could be the old rabbit's type? Fluffy tails? Furry ears? A raspy tongue? Oh, for the love of all the gods, stop it. But just think about it. Please shut up, Marty. Hmm. Sagt er das gleiche wieder? How young is this girl? Damn. This place is clapped up. Do you think they're forced to do this? Marty, we're not here for that. Just for the information we need. Yeah, but you know what, Sonny? We're fortunate to be able to choose what we do with our lives, huh? You are, Marty. You have the chance to work with Santino Featherland. Me, on the other hand. Aha. Sehr witzig. Löwen, ja. Und echt aufpassen. She's what I call an exotic beauty. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, every animal's the most beautiful thing in the world to someone. Yeah, you're right. Oof, I don't know about you, but I go weak in the knees for stripes. Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it to yourself. And let's get out of here quickly. Can't I even talk to you anymore? You can. Ask about the weather, or how's my lower back. Those two are even connected, if you want to know. Yeah, old fart. <laughs> Yee, that guy's stare gives me the creeps. Uh, I can see why. I've always told myself that birds are weird. What did you just say? Huh? What? Me? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, man kann wieder reden. Gefährlich. Gefährlich. Man kann auch mit ihr reden. I think she must be the receptionist. Bravo, Mr. Detective. Why do you have to be like that all the time? Well, sometimes I seriously can't decide if you've become totally stupid over the years or it just entertains you to act that way. Well, you know, that's a good question. That's exactly what I mean. Hmm. Nun gut, man kann mit ihr reden. Excuse me, gentlemen. Would you be so kind as to help me? With pleasure, ma'am. The zipper always comes down on my dress. Would you kindly zip it back up? Can I, Sonny? What am I, your mother? Do what you want, for God's sake. Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what a gallant young man. Plucking lords. Um, minigame? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I try again? If you'd really like to. Please be more careful this time. I will be, ma'am. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie das funktionieren soll. Also wahrscheinlich einfach langsam. Oder halt in der Mitte. Ich war zu langsam. Nochmal. Oh, I'm sorry. If you'd really I will be, man. Das war zu schnell. Bitte schön. Oh, thank you, honey. Marty, ma'am. Marty McChicken. Thank you, darling Marty. I'm much obliged. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime. Hm. Minigames. Und nun? Sprechen? May I invite you gentlemen for a drink, perhaps? No, thank you. We're in a hurry. Oh. Hm. Na gut. My name is Day Night Diamond. Welcome to the sweltering Nile, gentlemen. Miss Diamond, I'm Sonny, and this is my partner, Marty. If I may, miss, you have a beautiful name and exceptionally wonderful stripes. Marty, not now. 
Oh, thank you very much. Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places like this very often. Uh, me neither, uh, to be honest. Oh, nothing to worry about, gentlemen. There's a first time for everyone. You're absolutely right. We're just interested in a certain lady called Deborah. Deborah? We don't have any employees by that name right now, but if you want, any of our girls would love to be Deborah for a night. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me, you misunderstand. Uh, she doesn't work here. I'm afraid I don't follow. It's kind of confusing, but let me try to explain. Please, I'm at your service. I'll gladly answer any of your questions. You hear that, Sonny? Any questions? Shut up, Marty. Neue persönliche Information und eine neue Person. Und befragen können wir sie. Hier. Day Night Diamond. Das ist garantiert kein Alias. Zebra. Wunderschön, ruhig und professionell. Höchstwahrscheinlich eine Kurtisane. Wie kommen die da bloß drauf? Das muss der, der detektivische Sinn sein. Genau. Nun, befragen. I wouldn't want to offend you, far from it, but it's evident you're from the police, even without this. Is it that obvious? No, it isn't, but, you know, here in the Nile, we have a keen eye for this kind of thing. Hmm. Right. I understand, ma'am. Okay. Do you know a gentleman named Louis C. Hayworth? Of course I do. Mr. Hayworth is a regular guest at our establishment. I see. Uh, how regular, if I may ask? I can't give you any information about that. House policy. We have that too. It's called the law, ma'am. Mm. If you have any questions of that nature, please come back with a warrant. Ah, touche. Touche. Does this list mean anything to you? This? I'm not sure. No, nothing. Don't you see some familiar names on there? I do, but everybody knows those animals. Personally, I have no contact with any of them. I see. Oh, thank you. Okay. Seltsame Karte. Look, she gave this to us. The girl named Deborah, the one we uh, asked you about. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's a membership card. Was this person a regular here? If this belonged to her, then yes. I can check for you. Please, the ladies will entertain you while you wait. I'll be right back. Uh, thank you. I'm much obliged. Ob sie wirklich zurückkommt, da bin ich nicht so sicher. Vielleicht ruft sie jetzt auch jemanden an. Und, und schickt uns die ihre Kumpels auf den Hals oder sowas. Tür. I apologize for the wait. Please come with me, gentlemen. So you were successful. My mistress, Madame Zavas, would like to meet you. You mean that, Madame Zavas? As far as I know, there's only one of her. So, yes. Please, Miss, take us to her. With pleasure. Madame Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's an avid royalist, former member of the Council of Twelve, spy master, assassin, businesswoman, and courtesan. To be honest, I didn't even know she was still alive. She's no spring chicken, that's for sure. She could also be my mother, or maybe my grandmother. First Ibn Wessler, now her. Honestly, tonight it wouldn't surprise me if His Majesty Hector III didn't grace me with his presence. Mm hmm. Krokodil. Bild von Cyvas, wie gesagt. 
habe so ein bisschen Angst davor, dass hier äh, Automatismen greifen und mich hier irgendwie taggen, wenn ich da die falschen Dinge zeige. Ne? So, und Madame Saivas, Krokodil. Ihr Lächeln ist falsch, ihre Geschichte falsch, aber die Gefahr ist echt. Okay. Madame Tsai was war Spion, Kurtisane und schon eine Legende, als sie noch ein kleines Küken war. Viele Legenden ranken sich um ihre Schönheit und ihre tödliche Skrupellosigkeit. Die Zeit ist auch für sie nicht stillgestanden, aber sie scheint nach wie vor so tödlich zu sein, wie die Legenden behaupten. Inzwischen ist sie die Betreiberin eines Luxusbordells des Sweltering Nile. Okay. Kurz drauf. Ah, okay. Sie selbst, ja. In jüngeren Jahren, würde ich schätzen. Für einen Moment dachte ich, da liegt irgendwie eine Leiche oder so. So halb hinter... Halb hinter äh, Tüchern oder so. Allerlei Bücher. Schlund und Sühne. 49 Jahre ein Reptil. Tod eines Pferdes. Sieben Splitter meiner Seele. Der Schlüssel zum Denken der Tiere. There are books here on quite a variety of topics. There are books here on quite a variety of topics. Okay, anscheinend. There are books. Da wird nur gucken, ob irgendeins davon speziell heraussticht. There are books here. There are books. Scheinbar nicht. Also entweder ist sie belesen oder sie tut so. Stammesartefakte. Interesting pieces. Do you think so? It's the art of my people. Uh, crocodiles? There are many kinds of crocodile in the wilderness, Mr. Featherland. This is the art of the Nilenites. Ah, hence the name, the sweltering Nile. It's a river, Mr. Featherland. My ancestors lived by this river a long time ago. Ah, interesting. Thank you. Beautiful pieces for sure. They must be worth a fortune. Eine kaputte Uhr. Viertel vor zwölf. Is that the time already? Have you noticed your clock's not working? How observant you are. That clock isn't meant to show the time. It's a decoration. A memento. It's beautiful. Indeed. Hmm. Viertel vor zwölf. Ob das nochmal eine Bedeutung hat? Niemand weiß es. Wir reden gleich mit ihr. Das Offensichtliche immer zum Schluss. So she is the legendary Madame Zavas. Okay. Let me introduce myself properly, ma'am. Mr. Zadino, I know who you are. And I also know your partner. The legend of the chicken police is always one step ahead of the chicken police. Uh, thank you. That's flattering. Hmm. May I ask what you are looking for exactly? Here, on this night? You know, that's an interesting question. The card we've shown your lovely colleague... ...belongs to an old friend of ours, whom we haven't seen for a long time here. And the name? Unfortunately, no, Mr. Santino. That's confidential information. In my line of work, discretion is everything. Well, you know, in our line of work, the law is above everything. Oh, do you think so? I could tell you what your colleagues think is also above everything. But, as I said, 
discretion. Look, ma'am, we don't want to impose. We're conducting a private investigation, which started off as harmless, but now it's murder. That sounds serious. It is serious. That's why we'd be grateful for your help. In that case, I'm at your service. Ask your questions, and I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. As long as you're not wading through muddy waters. Fortunately, I swim very well for a chicken. I swim well, too. Neue Funktion befragen. So. Sie hat einen bestimmten Ruf, der in der ganzen Wildnis bekannt ist. Madame Cybers. Die Mitgliedskarte. Also das ist eine Mitgliedskarte. Okay, für irgendjemanden. Speichern kann ich ja nun nicht. Pass auf. Die seltsame Karte fragen wir mal als letztes. Lewis Hayworth is a good friend of mine. It uh, surprises me that he's a regular here. You wouldn't believe our clientele. You would be shocked. No doubt. Lewis, uh, does he come here often? Mm, not so often. Thank you for the vague answer, ma'am. The mystery is thrilling. The thrill is life itself. That was beautiful, ma'am. Der Typ. Na komm. As I was saying, it belongs to us. Only our most valuable guests have one of these. And our employees, of course. The employees, too. Good to know. Can you tell me if this card belonged to a guest or an employee? No. I thought so. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Wir müssen diese Informationen rausbekommen aus ihr. Bestimmt können wir ihr drohen. Das wird sie bestimmt ganz einfach und leicht auffassen. Tell me, have you ever seen this list? I have. Am I right to assume it has something to do with the sweltering Nile? It does, yes. But I can't tell you more about it. No. Discretion is key. Absolutely. Vielleicht müssen wir nachts noch mal wiederkommen. Obwohl nachts ist hier wahrscheinlich genauso viel los. Do you know Natasha Katsenko personally? Yes, I do. Tell me about her. Warm-hearted, protective, quick-tempered, fierce. Yes, fierce. Thank you. Very useful. Vernehmen können wir sie auch. Das machen wir gleich. This place isn't just our home with the girls. It's a sanctuary. Really? How? It symbolizes why the city was founded almost a thousand years ago. Unity, love, freedom. Interbreeding? That too, yes. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't. My girlfriend's a predator. Really? I'm glad to hear it. Hmm. Also, wir können sie jetzt befragen. Das wird bestimmt nicht leicht. Deceit is everything to save us. She used to be a spy, so I'm going to take her every word with a grain of salt. Hmm. Zum Glück habe ich jetzt momentan nur eine Frage. Okay. So. Wer steckt hinter der Legende? Wer sind sie wirklich? Who's behind the legend, Miss Zavas? Who are you, really? Just an animal raised to survive, Mr. Featherland. And because I've been taught, I know how to survive. I always was what I had to be. And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. Well, you see, this is one of the typical elements of survival. The way of dodging a delicate question and still making the questioner believe he got the answer. <laughs> But you're too cunning and experienced, aren't you? <laughs> you're not an easy one to fool. I'm trying to maintain appearances, ma'am. 
You should. Appearances, most of the time, are stronger and more dangerous than the truth. Isn't it dangerous being a royalist nowadays? You know, Mr. Featherland, those that are genuinely dedicated never care about danger. That's something you must know even better than I. Do you think it's my loyalty that motivates me the most? If you do, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Maybe you're not loyal to the police, Mr. Featherland, but you are to your own principles and ideals. Am I right? That's true, but you're avoiding the question. Why did you stay in the King's employment after the scandals that are making half the city riot? What makes you still believe so much in the institution of monarchy? You know, I always adapt, but only to a degree where I still don't have to give up myself and my ideals for the sake of survival. You'd rather die, then? Maybe it would seem too dramatic or even romantic to you, but yes, exactly. I'm sorry to doubt you, but I've always thought your kind was rather compromised. Do you mean spies or crocodiles? Spies, of course. <laughs> I must disappoint you. But there aren't many groups as loyal and unwavering as the spies, Mr. Featherland. If you're telling me, ma'am, I believe you. Sie sagte noch, sie hat gelernt, zu, über, zu tun, was notwendig ist, zu überleben. Was auch immer es ist. Hm. Und dann würde sie für ihre Ideale sterben. Hm. Why did you decide to open a brothel? You know, this place used to be an orphanage, then after the great avian plague, a hatchery. Then, young mothers lived here who had nowhere else to go. That's when I took over. Young mothers and prostitutes. That feels like a sharp turn. No, it didn't happen like that, of course. The process took 20 years, but one thing remains the same. I wanted to help girls who had nothing and no one. To help them. And this was the best you could do, helping them sell their bodies. You see things very superficially, Mr. Featherland. We're a family who helped each other even at the worst of times, took care of each other, and what's most important, survived. Yes, survive, no matter the cost. And it's the cherry on top of the most treasured secrets of the rich and famous. Very insightful, Mr. Featherland. Mm -hmm. There's truth to that. Knowledge is power, as they say. And we know a lot about powerful animals that could be used as weapons. Or the opposite. <laughs> that could avert a war. Okay. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? I wouldn't say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but if you guess right, I won't lie to you. Then I will tell you you were right. Yes. Good. Let's see. The answer to my question, Natasha Katsenko. Well, Mr. Featherland, it seems the gossip about you is right. What gave it away? It couldn't have been easier. There's a beautiful woman with a mysterious past, trying to keep it a secret, while someone's threatening her with the exact same thing, leaving rather unmistakable messages behind. Plus, we found the card on Deborah, who was her best friend and confidant, so she was either trying to hide it or destroy it forever, so no one could find out the truth. Am I right so far? Indeed, Mr. Featherland. 
So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for you before she met Ibn Wessler. Hmm. He fell in love with her, gave her a job at the Millions Club. The rest is history. You have talent, Mr. Featherland. I'm really sorry you're not working for the government. I am working for the government. I'm a cop. Are you sure, Mr. Featherland? Touché. Indeed. Natasha used to work here. We can put it that way, but you know, this isn't just a workplace. She also lived here. She was part of our family. And we still love her very much. Right. That puts everything in a different light. Save us is a true survivor, always was. And she's proud of that, even to this day. Maybe I can get her to trust me if I play to this part of her. Vielleicht. Oh, da haben wir viele Fragen. So, vieles überstanden. Hm. Everyone in the city thinks you're dangerous. Why is that? There are many legends in the city about many things, Mr. Featherland. I, for one, have heard that you too had solved all your cases. Is that true? You know it's not. Uh, I hear things. The truth comes out when we come face to face with it. So? There's one case we never solved. Though the press said otherwise, thanks to political pressure. Fascinating. And you see how much easier it is now that you've said it. You managed to dodge my question again. You're very good at that. My answer is maybe. Maybe I am dangerous. But only if someone stands between me and my goals. Which are? Uh, I'm an old woman now, Mr. Featherland. I care for nothing except the well-being of my girls. Excuse me, but I can't believe that. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 You're capable of anything to keep your secrets hidden. Am I right? Do you mean like sending obscene threats to Natasha to remind her of her sordid past? So you know about the threats? Of course I do. Who do you think Natasha came to for help first? You, perhaps? Please, don't make me laugh. If you want to know, I wasn't even her second choice. Even Mr. Philmar Lowe entered the picture earlier than me. Should I tell you I'm sorry to hear that? Don't bother. Oh, das ist richtig nach hinten losgegangen. Ich sag's euch, bei diesen bei diesen Vernehmungen, bei diesen Verhören, da bin ich immer echt schlecht. Do you know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent, but mostly her manners, Mr. Featherland. She's from Stovos, and she belonged to the upper class of Stavonian social circles. She could barely even speak the language when I first met her. That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like you must have checked up on her new protege's past. That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have. Multiple times putting my most treasured connections to good use. But nobody found anything. Natasha's trail could only be traced back to the Stovonian border. What happened in that country, no one knows. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland. Yes, curious. That's why I've always been... Rather fond of Natasha. 
Did it touch you deeply when she left you? Indeed, <laughs> it did. Zavos is protective. It seems she's dedicating her whole life to her protégés. If I concentrate on that, maybe she'll open up to me. Mm. Maybe. Why did you let her leave with Wessler? What else could I have done? Wessler is a handsome, rich, powerful animal. And Natasha fell in love with him. If anything, I know you can't stand in the way of a woman in love. There's nothing more dangerous, Mr. Featherland. I've been in this job for more than 20 years, but I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> you see? You learn something new every day if you have an open mind. <laughs> yes. Oh, ist wieder nach hinten losgegangen. Oh, meine Fresse. Ich interpretiere die Sachen hier mal völlig falsch. Ja. Were you angry at her for leaving? Afraid she might blab secrets. Wouldn't you like to hear that? Yes, it would be a classic. The controlling crocodile obsessed with power can't take losing her favorite protege and seeks revenge. I'm not saying it happened like that, but it could have. <laughs> now, now, Mr. Featherland, you're smarter than that. You know very well that's not how it happened. Maybe I just wanted to hear it from you. Still, I feel like you're not telling me everything. Of course I'm not, Mr. Featherland. <laughs> well, thank you for your honesty. Don't mention it. Plus five. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly, I was very hurt. I loved her as a daughter. How would you have felt? I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop her, and you know why? Of course I do, because you loved her. You've been in my shoes before, am I right, Detective? Yes, I can feel you have. This isn't about me, madam. Please stop changing the subject. I have felt betrayed on a certain level. Yes, and offended, and alone. Even amongst all my friends, were you disappointed in her? Only in myself, Mr. Featherland. But I have a hunch you know this feeling very well. Yes, you're right. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Any time, detective. Yes, any time. Genauigkeit 40%. Komm, wir machen das jetzt nochmal. Deceit is everything to save us. She used laufen. to be a spy, so I'm going to take her every word with a grain of salt. Das kann doch nicht immer so schlecht laufen. Who's behind the legend, Miss Zavas? Just an animal raised to... And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. Well, you see, this is one of the... I'm trying to maintain a... You should. A pe... Plus five. Tell me, were you really the king's spy? If that's such an open secret, then I haven't been doing my job very well, isn't that right? <laughs> yes, I was a spy. But that's such a blunt way of putting it. I always say I used to undertake confidential, generally political assignments of a delicate nature for the king that were in the interests of national security. Put that way, it sounds rather romantic. Don't believe the cheap fiction, Mr. Featherland. Espionage is anything but romantic. I believe you, madam. If you must know, I only did it because I believed I could protect those that I serve. Weapons have only one use in this world. To keep the peace. Yes. I always thought about myself and my craft that way. Thank you for your honesty, ma'am. Mm -hmm. 
plus 10. Why is the identity of the card's owner so delicate, Miss Zavos? You know, in my line of work, discretion is above everything. Yes. But of course, I have my own interest, like everybody else. You mean every secret has its price? Precisely, Mr. Featherland. But the price is not always measured in money. Information. The most valuable thing for a spy. I'm not a spy, Mr. Featherland, but in a way, you're right. A secret is such a valuable thing that I only exchange one secret for another. Mhm, mm das hat dir gefallen. Oder es war positiv, sagen wir mal grundsätzlich. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? I wouldn't say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but if you guess... Good. Let's see. The... Well, Mr. Feather... It couldn't have been easier. Indeed, Mr. So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for... You have talent, Mr. I am working for the government. Are you sure? Touché. Indeed. Right. That puts everything in a different light. Savas is a true survivor, always was. And she's proud of that, even to this day. Maybe I can get her to trust me if I play to this part of her. Ich glaube, das, glaub, das war nicht schlecht hier. Ich versuch's mal. Everyone in the city thinks you're dangerous. Why is that? There are many. You know it's not. Uh, I hear things. The truth. There's one case we never saw. Fascinating. You managed to dodge my. My answer. Which are? Uh, I'm an old woman now, Mr. Featherland. Excuse me, but I can't believe that. Das war schlecht. Das darf ich, wenn ich es nochmal mache, nicht wieder fragen. Your stone cold image is just a mask, isn't it? Am I that transparent? Not at all. You're playing your role perfectly. You're more sensitive than you appear. Should I take that as a compliment, Detective? It was a simple statement of fact. Then thank you. No, that's okay. Do you know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't... That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like he... That's the most... It's rather... It is, Mr. Featherland, yeah. Did it touch you deeply when she left you? Indeed. <laughs> it did. Zavos is protective. It seems she's dedicating her whole life to her protégés. If I concentrate on that... Mm -hmm. Beschützend. Hmm. Jetzt weiß ich nicht mehr, ob das gut ging oder nicht. Didn't it occur to you that you could exploit Natasha and Ibn's relationship? Me? How? And in what way could I have done that? You were a famous spy, madam. It's easy to imagine you've conditioned Natasha to seduce Ibn Wessler and help you get close to his money and influence. Look around you, Mr. Featherbrain. Do I look like someone who needs money and influence? Power corrupts yes there's truth to that good point but it's nothing like that for me i love natasha as my daughter and i believe she too loves me as her mother and i would never have used this 
Oh, richtig schlecht. Have you kept in touch? Only occasionally, Mr. Featherland. She writes to me every few weeks, and very rarely we talk on the phone. But I haven't heard from her in weeks. The truth is, I've started to worry about her. Did she give no sign of being in trouble? Never. No. Natasha's not the kind to talk about her feelings. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you saw her, Madame Zavas? Maybe around two months ago. There was a ball, attended by Ibn Wessler, his beautiful mate Natasha, and myself. Yes. Was she herself? Did you feel like she was afraid or worried about something? On the contrary, she was unrestrained, free, radiant, she was in love. Yes, in her own unique way. What do you mean? You know Natasha loves on a different level than most Clawville women. Or most women in the wilderness, in fact. Maybe it's because of the Stovonian origins. Perhaps it's something else. So you didn't notice anything strange about her? Well, if anything could be called strange, it was that I saw a woman positively floating above the ground, who previously used to stand on it with two feet. I see. Thank you, madam. Plus 10. Hm. Nur eine Frage. Keine, keine Frage, keine Qual der Wahl. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly? I was very hurt. I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop. Of course I do. But You've been in my sh This isn't about me. I have felt betrayed on a certain level. Were you disappointed in her? Only in myself. Yes, you're right. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Any time, detective. Yes. Any time. Ah, gut. Wichtiger Hinweis. Natascha arbeitete im Bordell Sweltering Nile, bevor eben Wesley sie dort entdeckte und rausholte. Nochmal versuche ich es nicht. Ne? Ne? Naja, 60 Prozent. Aber nur deshalb, weil ich bei manchen Fragen halt wusste, dass er dann nicht gut drauf reagiert. Please, gentlemen, wait here a moment. I would like to show you something that could help you. Oh, that's excellent news. Thank you. We will wait. Do you trust her? Not in the slightest. Even her smile is fake. This woman wallowed in other animals' secrets until she became one, too. That's exactly how I feel. Anyway, now that we're here, we can take a better look around. Just what I was thinking. Six. Neue Information. Na komm. Mm -mm, genau. Sie arbeitete da. Ziemlich viele Personel, personelle, persönliche Infos. Niemand weiß so richtig viel über sie. Na? Nicht einmal Zai war es in der Lage, die obskure Vergangenheit Nataschas vollständig zu erhellen, obwohl sie all ihren Einfluss und all ihre Verbindungen in diese Angelegenheit in die Waagschale warf. Es berührte sie immens, als Natascha, die sie wie eine Tochter liebte, das Nile für Ibn Wessler verließ. Okay. Noch was im Codex?
gibt es einiges. Bei den Mi Milenniten handelt es sich um eine Kultur des Altertums, die mittlerweile untergegangen ist. Sie herrschten über ein ausgedehntes, mächtiges Reich, dessen Zentrum sich im tropischen Südwesten der Wildnis befand. Ein berühmter Nachfahre dieser Kultur ist der legendäre, die legendäre Madame Zaiwas, ihres Zeichens anerkannte Meisterspion und Kurtisana. Die große Vogelgrippe war eine Epidemie, die sich über den gesamten Kontinent von Altera ausbreitete und durch, durch die beinahe 40% der geflügelten Weltbevölkerung ums Leben kam. Auch in Chlorville wütete die Seuche und tötete beinahe 50% der städtischen Vögel. Letzten Endes wurde die Vogelgrippe durch einen in Avyrien entwickelten Impfstoff und die Einrichtung sogenannter Bruthäuser besiegt. Doch die Auswirkungen der Seuche wirken bis heute nach. Hm. Nach der großen Vogelgrippe wurden mehrere Bruthäuser in Chlorville eingerichtet. Sie waren für Wöchnerinnen und Waisen bestimmt, dienen darüber hinaus als Krankenhaus und sollten in ihrer Hauptfunktion dazu beitragen, die Vogelpopulation der Stadt wiederherzustellen. Die Maßnahmen wirkten langsam aber stetig und heute stellen die verschiedenen Vogelarten insgesamt ein Drittel der Bevölkerung von Chlorwell. Und noch eins. Relativ wichtig wohl. Die Nacht, die Sunnys und Martys Leben für immer prägen sollte. Sie begann mit einem seltsamen Anruf, gefolgt von dem unerwarteten Besuch einer Tigerin. Und sie endete in einem Bruthaus, wo die beiden schließlich Zeuge eines nie dagewesenen Massakers werden sollten. Sunny wurde direkt in die Sache verwickelt, als eine seltsame Gestalt mit Zylinder seine Familie ins Fadenkreuz fasste. Allerdings gelang es dem Übeltäter, sich einer Festnahme zu entziehen. Tatsächlich wurde der Fall nie offiziell beigelegt, aber unter dem Druck des Generalstaatsanwaltes sahen sich die Zeitungen dazu gezwungen, einen glorreichen Triumph der Chicken Police zu vermelden. Diese unglückselige Lüge bildete also den Ausgangspunkt für ihre Legende. Hm. Das ist jetzt aber trotzdem, sagen wir mal, nicht wirklich... nicht wirklich informativ. Also nicht ins Detail, nicht detailinformativ. Nothing interesting here. angucken können. Oh. Welche Zeit wäre wohl die richtige? muss ich erst finden. Irgendwas mit Zahlen? Sieben. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. 49. 749. These books are here for Door. Who'd have thought? She is a legendary ex-spy. Well, this is something I've never understood. Why isn't a key good enough? I mean, you can take that with you, but riddles can be solved by anyone. I don't think many animals get to be in this room, Marty. And the other thing is, maybe she wanted us to find it. Exactly what I'm thinking. Who knows? Anyway, we're going in. This room is not like her at all. The other must have been for show. Marty, this is the reality. We're talking about a professional spy. A former spy. Still, if anyone knows how to mask her real face, it's her. 
Well, you think this is who she really is? Cold, dark, and tiny. And full of secrets. Schubladen. Merkwürdiges Buch. Bilder. Schreibmaschine. Wände. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Me too. We better get out of here before she comes back. Ah, names, numbers, dates. Oh, furry gods. Do you think they all belong to the brothel? Hell no. Half of it is a matter of national security. What did we step into? You know what? I don't care, Marty. I'm too old for conspiracies. The only thing that matters to me is to find out what the furry hell we're doing here. And what it has to do with Natasha. Sure. Verpelzt und zugenäht, ja. Mhm. Merkwürdiges Buch. Da! Ist die Liste rausgerissen. This has got to be it, Marty. Look at the missing page. Oh, Gods. And look at the names. Yeah. The ladies and their guests. Damn. What this means, Marty, is that the most influential people in the city had been Natasha's patrons. Some even from the royal family. This book could destabilize Clawville. At least the Clawville we currently know. You think this is behind everything? Somebody's blackmailing Natasha because of this? That could easily be the case. But something still doesn't fit. That piece of a painting. Sonny? If there's even a small chance of... Sonny. What? There's another familiar name here. What are you talking about? Molly. <gasps> Seine Frau. Clucking hell, Sonny. Molly? She was working here too. Uh, it's probably someone else with the same name. So that's why Natasha told me they'd known each other for a long time. Look, boss. I can't believe it. All those stories about her past. Listen, Bosberg, Molly loved you, right? Isn't that what matters? Marty, please shut your fucking beak right now or I'll shut it for you. Okay, boss, I'm sorry, but... Just shut the cluck up. We've caught them sneaking around, Miss Diamond, you see? Mm. I see, madam. No, oh, back off, ladies. There's no need for this. We don't want trouble. No, maybe you don't. Unfortunately, trouble has found you, gentlemen. Madam Zavos, we needed to know the connection. What this place has to do with Natasha. And... And? And my wife. Filthy cops? He's talking gibberish. May I shoot him? No, not yet, Miss Diamond. I'd be very sorry to put holes in your lovely striped skin. But believe me, baby, I will. I've always wanted to know if diamonds are bulletproof. Please, madam. It'll all be over in a second. No. We have received different orders, Miss Diamond. Orders? Stand down. Oh, I see. The pony does tricks on command. Well, I'm not surprised. That's enough, Marty. You knew who she was, didn't you? What she meant to me. Well, well, Mr. Featherland. Aren't you interested in your case anymore? No? All it took was a name from your past, and your professionalism drowned in the mud. Stop playing games with me, Zavos. What does all this have to do with Molly? Nothing at all. No, she was just a little bird among the many who sought refuge here. You forced her into this! You'd love to hear that, but until she met you, she was one of us. Just another... You clucking... Sonny, no! Hmm. I think I was dreaming. But it wasn't the kind of dream you'd want to remember. 
dark and painful. Then the suffocating smoke woke me. It wasn't fried eggs, that's for sure. Where was I? What happened? That treacherous crocodile. Then I saw Marty, who looked as horrible as I felt. Well, I've always wanted a romantic sea voyage. God damn it. I knew I shouldn't have gone along with this. Marty, I told you you could get out any time. <laughs> and you knew damn well that I wouldn't. That I would never leave you in deep shit once I've joined you. You knew it, and you still asked me to do it. Marty, listen. You're a selfish bastard, Sonny. And you drag everyone around you down with you. How long was it till retirement? 120 days? 121. But you just couldn't sit still on your ass, could you? Well, take a good look around, boss bird. This is you. And this is what follows you. Just this clucking misery and dead bodies. Do you understand? You have nothing else to offer but suffering. <sighs> Marty. And feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, you're great at that. I can't believe this shit. We're gonna die here on a god's damn blazing ship like roast chicken. Well, it's dramatic at least, just like you like it. Marty. What? I've almost managed to untie the knot. But if you keep thrashing around like that, we're really gonna die here. Ah, oh, for cluck's sake. Fine. Work your magic. Until then, I'm gonna say all the prayers I know. You better. Okay. Flammen. Ah. Marty. Seile. Um. Can... Sehen. Nein, das geht ja auf Zeit, das sehe ich ja jetzt erst. Scheiße. Ich werde versagen. Ich werde versagen. Aha. Kasse auf Zeit. Kasse auf Zeit. What now? Now we run and swim. I can't swim. Well, you better learn fast or you'll die. I'm not gonna drag your fat ass to the shore if that's what you're hoping. Well, I shouldn't have brought this many guns with me. Throw them away then. Never. Then they'll drag you down into the deep. Ah, I don't care. I always thought your gun mania would be your undoing. Cluck you, Sonny. We have to survive this first. Well, after you, boss bird. <sighs> that furry fucking clucking god damn. Yeah. Listen, Marty. What? What you said on the ship. What? What about it? You were right. I knew this would happen. Or something like it. I dragged you into this deliberately, because I'm not enough on my own. Sonny, cut the crap. No, I'm serious. I knew I couldn't do this alone. I needed you to, well, to look out for me. I don't need this, all right? Stop playing the wounded soul. I don't fucking care. Fair enough. <laughs> You're right. Hell yeah, I'm fucking right. I'll, uh, shut up now. Good. Okay. Jetzt so viele Informationen hier. Außen steht da jemand komisch rum. So. Genau. 
Natascha arbeitet im Bordell, das hatten wir. Mollys Name taucht an einem Ort auf, wie wir erwartet hätte, in Madame Cybers Buch. Cybers hat versucht, uns zu erledigen. Aber warum? Steckt sie mit ihm besser unter einer Decke? Hm. Warum hat sie uns nicht einfach abgeknallt? Meine, wenn sie uns erledigen will... Wenn sie uns erledigen will, warum hat sie uns nicht einfach abgeknallt? Kannte es raus? Ich auch gleich, in wenigen Momenten. Ist alles klar. Alles klar. Ne? Mach's gut. Warum hat sie nicht einfach ihrer, ihrer Bediensteten gesagt, ja los? Ich würde es ohne zu zögern, würde einen ohne zu zögern durchlöchern. Hm. Hm. Das Schiff. Naja, also, ich glaube, das ist auch ein guter Moment. Denn, an der Stelle sind wir jetzt an einer Stelle, wo beim nächsten Mal ziemlich viele neue Optionen auf uns warten. Also, ähm, ach, ich kann hier gar nicht. Ich muss erstmal hier irgendwie jetzt, ne? Captain Marsh. Hm. Marshmallow. Hab ich hier noch irgendwas in der Inventar, irgendwas Neues? Ne, die Liste ist weg. Okay. Okay. Also, dann machen wir nächstes Mal weiter. Ich vermute ja, dass das jetzt als gespeichert gilt. Ist ja dramatisch. Ist ja dramatisch, dramatisch, ne? Also. Zurück zum Menü. So, war sehr ruhig heute, ne? aber dieses Spiel verleitet einen auch irgendwie dazu, irgendwie sehr ruhig zu werden. Ne? Das ist irgendwie so ein, so ein, so ein, ich sag mal, Entspannungs... Äh, ein, ein spielerischer Entspannungskaffee oder so, ne? Entspannungskaffee klingt so wie Friedensgewehr, ne? Oder so. Naja, auf jeden Fall soll es das für heute gewesen sein. Zack. Ich stopp mal die Aufnahme.